Perth is a city that's done very well for itself. The money's come mining and agriculture. It's basically what Swindon could have been if they discovered gold under the M4. But it's also got a kind of frontiersy spirit. A place where you think if you come here and work hard, the sky's the limit. I'm about to meet someone who's done exactly that. In a haven for self-made success stories, I've lined up a chat with one of WA's greatest. I'm imagining some sort of elegantly groomed CEO in an Ocean View office suite. So why am I at a fruit and veg market at four in the morning wearing high vis? Or trying to. Thing. Tony. Hello. Bill, is it? Yeah. Good day, man. How are you? How are you? It's a little chilly today, but yeah, you're wearing your shorts, singlet, you know. Uh, it's probably all the fur that I've got. <laughs> Actually, I've got a bit of fur, I've got to say, yeah. Get another layer of insulation. Yeah, I know. Tony Galati may not sport the sharp suits, but that didn't stop him from building a 17-store empire of spud sheds. He's the quintessential Western Australian zero-to-hero battler. He even sued Big Potato, that's the WA Potato Marketing Corporation, to break their iron grip on the spud market. The hairy guy wins again. We fought it for about 20 years until we got rid of it. It's been right. pretty good since they've gone. Yeah. Yeah, they'll break it. All the laws, market laws, they were trying to control the prices, trying to control the supply. Yeah. It was totally wrong. Not, you can't do it now. So if Tony can take on the system, maybe I can learn a thing or two about negotiation from him. Do you like watermelon? Yeah. We're getting a dollar eighty a kilo. No, no I'm not paying that. Oh, he says thanks. no all the time, just says no. OK, lesson one. Just say no and you'll make a fortune. I like the way this city works. Tony's secret is to always drive a hard bargain, right down to the last apple. Morning. Morning, Jade. How you going, Good morning. Hello there. How's it going? How are you? Jade, right. for the Englishman. It seems that every second person in Perth was born somewhere else. Even Tony is the child of Italian immigrants who started with nothing. Can anyone live the dream here in the City of Lights? I'm just going to make an assumption here, but I reckon people come here and they get a better lifestyle. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. You know? Definitely. But there's yeah. more opportunities here, I think, especially for the youngsters. If you want to work, there's the yeah, opportunities in this country, here. If you want to get ahead and work, yeah. yeah. This is the if you're prepared to, to put a shift yeah. in, yep. these look good. How much do you want for them? For 3 50 a kilo. Right, OK. Well, that's kilo. pretty good, though. The max one can pay for these is two bucks. I've got to make 50 cents. Can't do it, mate. You're too hard. Harder than bit... granite is. Are we dealing or not? You know that, my price. Not today, then. Not today. Oh, God, he's harsh, isn't he? He's Tony, he's not having it. He's just not having it. He's trying to get the best deal for his customers. So why wouldn't he drive a hard bargain? Plus the fact he turns up in shorts and singlet. And by the way, these apples are bloody delicious. It's a bit early, though, for me. It's, just, it's gone to my head a little bit. Get a bit of a sugar rush. I'll have to have a lie down in a minute. All right, we're going. That's it, then. I'll get rid of this apple. I just throw, it. throw it down there. Just put it in there? Yeah, just put it in there. Yeah, That's all right. what I do. Right. The palms can sort it out. <laughs> the palms can sort it out. <laughs>